I want to see a future where water is equitable and sustainable for communities, for the environment, for cultural water uses. I want to see a future where we unify around water to ensure its sustainability and its conservation for all. Water is the thread that brings together the fabric of society and the environment that we live in. It's essential for sanitation, for farming, for aquaculture, food and energy, for drinking, for our ecosystems, and importantly for public health. We can see the impact of climate change creating extreme weather. All of that uh, impacts significantly our ability to continuously produce um, safe water. Climate change targets present the world with an enormous challenge to overcome. However, also provides an opportunity to share knowledge and work together and invest in our shared future. This is the core work of universities and the drive that unites our members. The Water Research Centre looks at problems to do with water. Is there enough of it? Is there too much of it? And is that water good for the environment? And if it's got pollutants in it, how do we remove those pollutants? This is important so that we can ensure we've got enough water to drink and that it's not harming the environment. Given the importance of this problem and the challenges ahead, it's absolutely critical that we work together uh, for better water supply and management. My full name is Ke Fung Zhang. Um, I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Civil and Environmental Engineering's Water Research Centre. My name is Marilu Melo Surita. I'm an associate professor as part of the Environment and Society Group within the School of Humanities and Languages here at UNSW. My name is Jasmine Samet and I'm a professor in the School of Biological, Earth and Environmental Sciences here at the University of New South Wales. My name is Pierre Leclerc. I work in the School of Chemical Engineering in the UNESCO Centre for Membrane Science and Technology. My name is Fiona Johnson and I'm the Director of the Water Research Centre. The International Universities Climate Alliance represents just shy of 50 universities from across 25 countries around the globe. UNSW Sydney is the current host of its secretariat and we're based here in Sydney, Australia. In my research I work on uh, mostly urban water management and specialising in nature-based solutions, technologies, uh, which is also called Water Sins Urban Design in Australia. Um, I'm trying to understand the pollution levels and the risks of different water sources, such as stormwater, but also grey water. I'm trying to use the nature-based solutions to uh, purify the water, make it clean for everyone to use, recreational or even drinking. Um, on top of that, I'm trying to advance the technology by introducing new things like real-time control and real-time uh, real monitoring, which are based on Internet of Things uh, related uh, technologies. Our research uh, is based on um, the development and implementation of advanced water treatment technologies uh, that could be implemented in a wide range of applications from ground and surface water treatment for potable application to waste water treatment and recycling and we also include uh, desalination from seawater and brackish water in our research activities. One of the innovations that we've worked on over the last 10 years is around correcting climate models so they get, give us better simulations of Australia's hydrology. So we've developed new methods to bias correct our climate models and they've been implemented by the Bureau of Meteorology to provide water availability outlooks for all of Australia. We're trying to provide information for governments and decision makers to better understand variability in our water resources systems, to better understand floods and droughts and how to manage them. We're working on a fantastic opportunity at the moment, bringing together expert minds from across the world. We're working in collaboration with the UN Water Expert Group on Water and Climate Change to identify what is currently known and not known about the water dependencies of the Paris Agreement targets. In most of the countries where I work, people live in remote rural areas. They often are disadvantaged economically, but they have an opportunity to utilise water and soil resources to, to farm. My program's primary goal is to increase food, nutritional and income security, particularly in developing countries where people face day-to-day -day challenges trying to meet their dietary needs. We also work on trying to understand the role of water quality 
in improving fish production to optimise growth and minimise the cost of farming. I'm a social scientist, a human geographer, and I do research about the relations between the humans and the more than humans, particularly in the urban space. So I pay a lot of attention to water that is under the surface in particular. I look at, I look at the things that are happening on the ground, in the subsurface, and I try to connect those aspects of the onda with what hum humans want about their environments, what they think about them, how they live their lives. We have conversations with communities on the ground, we talk with them, we listen a lot. And once we learn what is needed and what is wanted, we actually start thinking about how can we develop and design a project that fits those needs. It's an absolute privilege to engage in conversations around the world so that we can connect the dots and carry this work forward into the future. Water for Peace is not just an aspiration. This is very much a tangible goal within our reach. Together, we can transform this vision into reality. Through our shared commitment to innovation and cooperation. So let's pave a way for a future where water brings people together. And champion this cause for the planet and for generations to come.